everyone, this is the weekly horoscope for Gemini for the week of December 19th, 2022, and we have a lot going on this week, so show your love and support, and make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Also, if you want more of an in-depth, based on your date of birth time place, check out my monthly horoscope, my reports that I do in the consultation page in the link in the description box below. I do do readings Monday through Thursday um, as well, so be sure to check that out. Um, let me see what else. I think that's it. Just subscribe. I'm almost at a thousand, so I need for like 300 more people to join. So please help me grow this channel. And thank you for everyone who has. And then this evening, I will try to put up the daily horoscopes, maybe, probably. So if not, you can always go back to last week's horoscopes and watch those. So on the 19th this week, Mars is still in retrograde in your sign of Gemini and the drama. Mm. Okay, the drama. We still going through the drama. You were going through the drama last week. We still going through the drama this week. Okay, we ain't done. All right, so the drama is real. All right, um, you can be rebellious or other people can be rebellious. You can be getting into fights with others. You can be trying to go home early with this energy as well because you're just not trying to put be around certain people. Um, Apollo in your first house, a secondary planet, is forming a kite energy with Vulcan, which is the higher form of Saturn, and that's in retrograde. And you still have a kite energy with Uranus, so this is stability happening, especially with your finances in your 12th house, because Uranus in the 12th house loves stability and is kind of like a creature of comfort, but then once you bring about changes into its life and it's not well aspected, it doesn't like it when you mess with their money okay and it gets really overreactive and it doesn't know how to control itself so but this is a time of necessary changes that you're going to be making in your life you are trying to be independent from a situation or people in your life so you can be saving your money strategizing and planning your way out of a situation this can be going back to school to get more money at this time energy um, this week you're just buckling down and focusing more on your responsibilities a great time for those of you in school because you're just so throwing yourself into your schooling um, during this time period you could see the light at the end of the tunnel so you're definitely trying to get you know really trying to like buckle down you could be getting out of a roommate situation or you can be trying to move out of your parents house at this time with this energy um, as well then on the 20th at 9 32 a.m eastern standard time jupiter goes into aries in your 11th house so this is going to be a beautiful time for growth but i feel like the most growth because i already started january's monthly horoscope so be sure to subscribe so you know when they're up because i might because at this rate the way i am going and keeping myself like you know on top of my shit i could get done with this like before the 31st i mean for real it's like yes bitch yes okay so make sure to be subscribed because this is a lot of work but at the same time I think I've been doing this for so many years it's kind of like blah, 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 you know so I don't know it's so cool I'm so proud of myself because you know I haven't done that in a long time so anyway so what's gonna happen there's a stellum happening in the 11th house so this is gonna be a time where the iron is gonna be striking and you are just going to take your opportunities you're gonna be tenacious um, next year in the beginning of next year's so really do not squander this jupiter and aries energy because jupiter and aries is going to go very quickly into taurus next year as well but we have a, in the beginning of the year we have a stellum during mercury retrograde so you can be making a lot of your big moves and this would be a great time for saving your money and business picking up but this is going to be a time where you're going to be making like a big stride um during jupiter and aries jupiter and aries right now is not well aspected in your 11th house so this could be a time period here where you've had you're not on speaking terms with a lot of people in your life at this time because you know like over the like the last few months you may have falling out with certain people in your life or for some of you you could be very much invested in your feelings at this time so the holidays could be kind of like a drag you know so it could be just you and then like the people that you live with advice you get from others may be um, faulty 
as well. You can be joining a group or organization at this time. A beautiful time for growth with business, so business can be picking up. You may have to deal with a partner who's overbearing, or this could be dealing with other people at work who are overbearing and controlling, and you can be dealing with power struggles with others at work as well. Or you may not be getting along with the group or organization, so for some of you, you could actually be quitting your job. Do it after February. Um, you may not be getting along with the people in your life. You may receive invitations to join a group or organization, or you're more involved in group efforts now. Supports, um, this is a time period, Jupiter supports a friendly atmosphere, but friends may not be reliable now, and they could be off doing their own thing. Not the best time to voice your opinion, because you could find that others can quickly be offended or quickly shut you down. You may not be getting along with certain people at work, like I said, so there could be like a lot of drama and passive aggressive energy going on. On the 21st at 4.48 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the sun enters Capricorn. So this is going to be your, your eighth house of rebirthing, the occult, taboos, lies, aliens, um, a lot of things, health. Um, so this could be a, getting a job at this time, a move happening, or this could be changes coming up with your life. This could also be helping you with your business, picking up because you do have a stellum in your eighth house with this energy. And Venus and Mercury are forming kite energies at this time. So for some of you, this could be an upgrade happening because there will be unexpected expenditures so things around the home your computer god forbid could be breaking down at this time so know that this could be um, an upgrade happening in your life you can have a falling out with friends your responsibilities can be changing at work the focus could be more towards your children and they need more of your time inheritance may come from um, somebody an older man in the family may have passed it could also be a time of taking care of old mysterious matters related to the past financial institutions that you have dealt with as well um, that can be coming up as well because if you're looking for a loan or mortgage during this time period and let's say that you have been involved in some kind of credit card fraud or just like some kind of thing where the school closed down but yet you still owe this debt kind of thing so certain things like that could be getting um, need to get resolved at this time you may be in the mood to free yourself from what you own you may have a sense that your possessions don't own you, so you could be giving away your things at this time with this energy. This can also be uh, emotionally unsettling news about financial matters. Take steps to minimize risk or loss. Those of you in your 30s, you're more in touch with your deeper aspects of your personal power now, and you're able to understand your motives for success more clearly. You may spend time learning your craft or developing your talents and can enhance your sense of self-worth by improving your earning potential. Potential. You are also appreciate your strengths and giving you more confidence about the future. On the 23rd at 4.31 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Chiron goes direct. This could be a time because you have a T-square happening of letting go. So this could be things in your home, again, breaking down this week. Certain situations may no longer apply. Or friends could be moving on or even creating boundaries with you. Others um, are constantly asking you for things and you're tired of giving certain people so so much attention in your life that you could be strategizing to leave a situation at this time you could be um, on purpose keeping yourself busy just so you could avoid being asked for things at this time or this could be people at your home and you could find yourself staying away from home just so you won't be bothered with helping certain people in your life okay trying a different approach may improve long-standing or current problems in relationships and private matters at this time a more liberal outlook on the complexities of life may give you more understanding of your own and the other's deep-rooted needs and issues. You may have a great ability to emotionally detach yourself from a situation and gain a new perspective on healing old wounds or be a guidance and inspiration to someone who is needs assistance. This is a great time for humanitarian or social awareness may also increase. Um, you may become more involved or have more encounters or activities which stimulate your innermost beliefs and philosophy. Philosophies. On the 23rd, 5.17 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the new moon in Capricorn. Any financial dealings with tax officials, those of you um, who have businesses, you could be preparing your taxes. Those of you in Europe, you could be dealing with your taxes at this time. Matters of estate need to be handled with care if the issue comes 
up. Um, this could also be loss of an estate or an inheritance or an unexpected inheritance or unexpected monies being owed to you. The easiest time for you to go expressing yourself or to be um, talking about your wants, your needs, and your desires because peep, you could find that others that your wants and needs or agenda could be pushed aside at this time or this is not this is not you getting along with other employees at work with this energy and kind of butting heads with other people. There may be a golden opportunity to eliminate debt. There's also your side business picking up and you can also be starting a new work routine or a new workout routine. You will want to, um, to know, let me see, you, you want to know who you could depend on at this time with this energy. I feel like there's some people in your life um, that you want protection and nurturing and acceptance from at this time and you just want to know that you have it from them. For some of you, you could be testing your relationships. There is a mutual feeling of loyalty and respect within your closest relationships. You feel a sense of importance when you provide others with support and nourishment and inspire pride and confidence in their achievements. On the other hand, you can bring your own creative ideas and projects into the limelight, encouraging your own sense of fulfillment. This is a time for demonstrating to the public any creative or artistic talents you possess. There is an opportunity to develop a characteristics of compassion, sensitivity, and nurturing. There may also be involvements with children where your instructions and caring play more of an important role in fostering their self-esteem. On the 23rd, Jupiter is semi-squaring Uranus at 7.42 p.m. Your social circle may be changing very rapidly. If you are alert, someone may come into your life who can help you with your career. This could also be a great time for networking, or this could be friends introducing Introducing you to a friend so you can all be friends and this person could be very much helping or you could be very inspired by this person and who knows you could go in another career direction or you could want to do the same thing that they're doing or you could be communicating more with friends at this time or making um, new friends and a new circle of friends during this time period this time the first card to come up with is the ten of wands taking on a lot of responsibility um, during this time period as well or this is not taking on responsibilities this is just feeling the burden of certain responsibilities maybe you're in lack at this time and you're dealing with like bil bills building up at this time as well and you could be feeling the pressure about the bills with this energy the five of cups depression happening for you so you could be going through it emotionally during this time period pluto and not pluto hades um, palace, you have a stellum in your second house, so they're in retrograde at this time. So you're more about your financial security at this time. So this could be like a lot of money worries coming up as well. So be careful with this. For some of you, you could be feeling lonely at this time because of falling outs that you've had with like other relatives or certain family members or like I said, friends in the in the astrology reading. And this could be a time period here where you feel like nobody has your back, nobody is supportive of you. You could be making circuit certain milestones this week and other people may not be there to celebrate those milestones when you have invited them to come to a party and do those milestones with you but I do see you getting a confidence boost as well with this energy so all is not lost at this time for some of you you're avoiding your problems with this energy so whatever problems that you may be having and for some of you this could be trying to get a mortgage or a loan at this time with this energy and then rather than like dealing with your financial responsibilities because you can't afford it so you can be running away from them the um six of cups i feel that certain obstacles in your life will be overcome eventually um for some of you i feel for some of you this could also be missing the past and you could be very sentimental about the past at this time and then for others of you certain obstacles obstacles may no longer apply in your life. The six of wands, I feel like you make it a point to get along with other people at this time. I feel as I connect with the six of wands, you're very diplomatic, but also you're not afraid of speaking your mind. And it's not going to make you lose friendships over speaking your mind at this time. I feel like you're a little bit more honest when you have conversations um, with other people now with this energy. I do see some victories coming up. I do see a confidence boost happening for some of you out there with this energy. Again, if you want like an email reading, check that out as well um, in the link in the description box below, okay? Because these are general readings, all right? So if you're looking for something with your date of birth time in place, check that out. I do see you visiting um, old friends for some of you and reconnecting with people that you haven't spoken to in a while with this energy for some of you you need to be careful with this energy because you're spending too much time 
at work and it could cause a bit of depression. So make sure to do something for yourself during this time period. Treat yourself. The Emperor card, the focus is more towards the men in your life or this could be dealing with somebody in authority. For some of you, this can be dealing with father and father's side of the family during this time period as well. And the focus can be on the men in your life. Um, this week. The Nine of Cups, my yes card to whatever question I did not answer is yes. The Justice card, something heavy on your mind. This could be victories coming up with court with this energy. For some of you, whatever is heavy on your mind, the answer is yes. Um, but because you know, we have a stellum in Capricorn, not, well, we have a stellum in Capricorn, and then we have a stellum in Cancer. You may not do anything with this energy at this time. So this is something that you're thinking about, but the answer is yes. Okay, but at the same time, you may not do anything about it. So this could be more of a thought than an action with these energies. The Knight of Coins, the mind on the money and the money on the mind. There could be another source of income coming in at this time. For others of you, there could be some shady business happening around work with this energy. And you may know about it too and stuff, but it could be like too much drama around that you don't want to get involved in the drama, but you know that some people are not up and up you know so either you could be watching your cash register a little bit more closely or you could be constantly you know how y'all get you all get real sneaky passive aggressive and you could be like calling them out on their stuff oh you forgot to sign this oh you forgot to do this you know when you know that they're not allowed to do certain things you know how low-key you guys you know how low-key in in clever like a fox you all can get and it could be just like that y'all getting clever like a fox okay and you're all playing the game with them because you know exactly what's going on at this time i feel like this is a great time for those of you who are self-employed so this could be business picking up i feel for some of you be careful with your career moves that you make because maybe you go back to school for a better career and then you find out that you know either that that career pool is satiated so you're not going to get a job there or you could find that you know even though you went to school it's like you went to school for this and then it turns out like if you go for a job for for to be a chemist right you're going to find that the janitor is now that used to be a janitor is now a chemist it makes the same exact money as you okay so it's going to be like oh i made the wrong career move and stuff like that because you probably thought you were going to make a lot of money you know and it turns out no you're not going to make a lot of money doing it so it could be a situation like that so really like research what you're going into don't be so quick to jump in or say yes to certain things because you could also be trading more responsibility for less pay at this time even though it's going to look good on your resume but at the same time you may want to think about it because it may not be worth it the queen of coins i feel with this energy here that this could be um dealing with a woman in your life there is money incentives around you there could be some kind of extra monies coming in for you at this time again this could be a beautiful time for business picking up with this energy unexpected monies or money owed to you could be coming in during this time period as well the um king of swords i feel with this energy here you have a great level of self-control i feel like you can be dealing with family this week a lot of people in your cards this week with this energy so you can be more out and about you can be more about your social life during this time period and spending time with people around you i do see for others of you again general reading a successful career change can be happening as well so you could be getting the job that you want this week and you could be moving on from your old job the three of wands this is a time of growth and moving forward and slowly but surely the energy itself is moving forward not at the time that you want so it could be like every friday something awesome happens with career so whenever there's kite energy so this could be a positive time for that um, happening as well the um, full card new beginnings are coming up a joie de vivre energy is happening so this is a happy period for you with this energy this is a beautiful time of moving forward and great new beginnings happening for you i feel like for some of you here a beautiful time for those influencers or online businesses could start doing really well and start having some like major takeoff and you can find yourself building like a mini empire for yourself with this energy the three of cups with the three of wands lots of communications around you lots of mercury energy around you so you can be making new friends at this time with this 
energy. You can be more about your social life with this energy. For some of you, try to stay on the right side of the law as well because there could be some lessons with Popo or dealing with lawyers during this time period, judge or police at this time. So just be aware of that. Stay on the right side of the law with this energy because I did feel like there was something going on with the money situations as well. So just be aware of that and try to stay, you know, not the best time to go breaking the rules during this time period. Okay. Um, so just be careful with that. The, um, let me see. The Ace of Wands, taking creative risk at this time. You may be open to new experiences happening in your life with this energy, or you could be taking certain risk and chances. The Five of Swords, for some of you, you're not getting along with certain people at work at this time. I would stay out of the gossip during this time period as well, but you probably can't because it's too good to be true. Or again, you're catching somebody in a lie or doing something that they shouldn't be doing at this time, but you're being made to look like the bad guy, okay? I would be careful with this person too because this could be somebody in a powerful place that you're messing with and they, you know, they'll turn around on you and they'll snap at you really bad. Stay away from those Scorpios, man. They'll, you know, they'll get their stinger on and start stinging you. I feel for some of you, you can be dealing with somebody that's um, doing unhealthy habits at this time or creating unhealthy habits for themselves um, with this energy. For others of you, you're very much the perfectionist or you could be putting a lot of pressure on yourself because you have to meet certain status quo. I wouldn't go gossiping about other people at this time or telling people the things that you want to happen during this time period because I do see betrayal. I do see other people in your life talking about you just because this person can't keep their mouth shut shut so you could be dealing with a water sign this week with this energy um let me see yeah and I do feel like, you know, it's not the easiest time with dealing with some people. Some people in your life can be very difficult. I see traveling and good news coming up for you. The hangman card, indecisions are coming up, but the answer is yes. So again, this is something that you're not going to do anytime soon. This is more of a thought than an action. This is you strategizing and trying to get all your ducks in a row right now and seeing and like seeing your viable options. I feel like teamwork makes the dream work at this time. I feel like you're more concerned about what other people think of you. I feel like other people take that the head and tell you exactly what it is to do. So a lot of people in your life have a lot of influence over you, but it could be because you have no choice but to be in a place of yes at this time with other people. The Knight of Wands, I feel like fortune could be bubbling over. More responsibilities are coming up for you during this time period um, with this energy. The Page of Wands, I feel like you could be very revolutionary in your way of thinking, but I also feel like as you're growing and evolving, you have jealous butts around you. You have people that are like um, not happy for your growth as well. So be careful with this because it could get really tricky and nasty at work or people can get very passive aggressive and start not helping you and making you fail at this time. Or they don't want to follow your lead and they don't want to listen to you. So there could be a lot of power struggles going on with that. I see recognition and success happening for you during this time period. The two of cups, you're more quiet into yourself and focusing on your work with this energy here. I feel like you can be you benefit through other people in your life and other people in your life could be taking care of you at this time with this energy like mom or dad especially father father side of the family could be um, letting you live with them for a while until you get yourself back on your feet, until you figure out your life at this time. For others of you, this could be you going to school while your partner su financially supports you guys. The Eight of Swords, for some of you, there's money worries, but I see money coming in during this time period, okay? The Page of Swords, yeah, I see money worries, but money coming in. I feel like other people are watching you a little bit too closely at this time, so be careful with this. Somebody could be spying on your page with this energy and reporting back with this energy as well. I see a lot of immature people people around you or this could be like children that you could be dealing with as well and they could be more of the focus in your life and the two of swords you're more quiet and cerebral and in your head but when you speak other people listen and other people could be listening more to you of your expertise advice that you have to share with them you are trying to manifest something into your life you're not trying to you want to do it but you're not trying to do it you're trying to like manifest the situation in your life so know that it will come to fruition so be careful how you manifest it I love you, my gems. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Kisses.